it's into Mac who gets France underway, playing for the 16th time today in partnership with the World Player of the Year, formerly Antoine Dupont. This is really structured, patient play from the visitors. And they've got the first penalty as Antonio carried that ball into contact. Here's Thibaut Flamont, who's a wonderful footballer. He's a former right half, went to Loughborough University. Here's Dupont, now Julien Marchand. And ripped away by Ireland, so Wayne Barnes, one of the best referees in the world, brings them back for potentially a first scoring opportunity. So he needs to find his accuracy today and makes the ideal start. So it, it is certainly not the beginning that Ireland had in Wales when they had all the ball and hammered their way into a 27-3 lead. They may well regret that. It's all about taking opportunities at this, the highest level. Scotland did it last week, scored tries almost every time they get into the English 22 at Twickenham. Here's Bingham, beautiful ball! Oh, that's magnificent! Keenan! Keenan's going to score for Ireland! Oh, my goodness! They're not making much purchase into this Irish defence at the moment. Look at that, Marsha caught behind the game line as well. Now off goes Gail Ficker. Oh, he's almost through. James Ryan makes the tackle. Dupont. Josh van der Fleer gets his fingers to the ball in that old Wesley Red head guard. Picks the tee up straight away. Turned his back. Eyes down. Ball over the bar. And then a loose, wild pass under President James Ryan. But Penno, can Penno go here? Brilliant ball inside of Jalons, opening the pitch up for the French. Jalons needs support, he gets it from Damien Pedro. You never give a vampire a taste of blood, and that's what Damien Pedro is. Connor Murray, whose service looked very sharp last week in Wales. In the absence of Jemison Gibson Park, his first choice these days for Ireland. This is great work from Ireland again. Ring Rose for low, low, should score in the corner for Ireland. And the on field decision is a try. And the try stands for James Rowe. Try against Wales, try against France. What a game we have here in Dublin. Trademark snipes for the line for Murray. Beelham. Close again for Ireland. They're fourth and inches on Super Bowl weekend. And Ireland there! Yes, they are! They drive through that horn. To Paul, former World Player of the Year. Felatea carries. Penalty to the French. And at the Stade de France, but also, as we've heard today, here in Dublin too. Ramos picks up the tee quickly. Is that another sign of excellence? Oh, yes, it is. No, Here is Dupont. Space is opening yeah, up. Yeah, there is. It is opening up. Oh, it's oh. given to Hansen. And there's Keenan. Keenan has it a pace to beat Ramos. Keenan for Hansen. Where's the ball going to finish up? In the hands oh, of Oh, that is Hansen. an unbelievable tackle. Oh, the defence by France. Lobbing this one over the bar. 22 points to 16 at half time. Well, it, it has been truly breathless stuff in this first half. Some rugby of the highest quality, not just in attack, but defensively as well. The French have held out some coruscating Irish attacks. Which team will have the most energy in the second half? Maybe one of the questions at half time here in Dublin in this second round Guinness Six Nations match. It's Ireland 22 and France 16. Brilliant by De Mortier. Showed real physicality there. Again, he'd no right to make as many no, metres as that. Fiku touched in flight. Josh van der Fleer sweeps brilliantly. Yeah. Sensational work from the World Player of the Year. And a penalty to France as Ty Byrne. Well, we know he's got the range usually from there and that's going to be the first miss, miss of the game for the fullback. As soon as you said that he was never going to have the range. Rugby's a strange game. Can't afford to miss too many tackles now, Ireland. 
French attackers beginning to pulse, and Ramos tries that drop at goal. It's low, it's flat, but it's there from Ramos. One of the best poachers in the world game was there. Bundiaki caught by Gail Ficou. You're supposed to be injured, mate. Great work by Ficou. Are they away now, Ireland? They are! They are away! Ring Rose! Ireland painting a glorious landscape in Dublin. Is that the try that beats the Grand Slam champions? Ficou into Mark to Mortier. Does he knock it on? He does. And that will be that. Ireland, the world's number one team, have beaten the Grand Slam champions, France, by 32 points to 19. And they march on now to consecutive away games against Italy and Scotland. A week's break, I think everybody's going to need it after a match like that. And then maybe leg three for Ireland. Four tries for this Irish team. Three in the first half from Hugo Keenan. James Lowe and Andrew Porter. Damian Penno scored a wonderful team score. Added to by Gary Ringrose. Final score here at the Aviva Stadium in Dublin. Ireland 32 and France 19.